Uh, I think it's very frustrating um, when we're down, trying to get back in. You know, we score and they score, we score, they score. It's 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 a momentum changer. Changer. I mean, we need to dig in and get that stop. But I mean, it's it's part of the game, though. I mean, like, yeah, I feel like we just continually got stops, uh, made open shots, finished, then that would have came easy. If we caught them, then it would have been a capitalize on our possessions. Christian, what's the most surprising about the way things turned out? Well, the loss, of course, but um, I think. We, we we try to keep our head and you know back in the game, try to get back in the game. Um, I mean, but it was hard. If we miss and they come back and, and score, that was a that was hard. I mean, it's surprising too because we need those stops. And I mean, it just it just didn't happen. It was, it was a good. I mean, they, they're pretty good, a good team. But we just had to you know dig in a little more. But you think you'd be in this kind of fight? Did you think you'd be in this kind of fight? Oh yeah, I mean every every college game is, is is different. You never know what's going you know what's what's going to happen. You just you got to play hard every game. Okay. What was the mood like in the locker room? Uh, what was the mood like in the locker room? It was tough, but um, means he just made sure everybody keeping their heads up, going to the next practice like nothing that really happened. So. Once we get to the next practice, the next game, we'll be ready. Uh, we could have we could have rebound better. Uh, we could have finished. I mean, like, but if we don't get back in the gym, go back to the drawing board, put that all together, then let's see what we come out with. I mean, it's our, it was our first game as a whole, you know, first regular season game. You know, everybody got their jitters. Everybody, everybody was uh, kind of like relaxed a little bit. But once the game started, we should have we should have got back to how we even really play. Uh, I mean, I was just I was just getting good good looks. My shots were falling. Um, and my teammates had confidence in me, so it was coming right back to me. Anything else for these guys? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We begin. Where do we end? <laughs> All right. Um, let's start with obviously frustrated, a uh, lot of miscues. And I could go on and on, guys, about the things we did wrong. There were a lot, uh, but it's late. <laughs> so I'll hit you with the things that, uh, that I think are important to be inspired by. I thought the, their attitude in the locker room was what I wanted to see from a team that just took a, a loss to a team that Quite frankly, is you know I don't know where they were picked, but I thought they were better than where they're picked. As, you know I talked about them having a lot of seniors and and uh, you know some he's kind of got that team poised for a good season, so he's he's doing a good job and and we needed to be more ready than we were tonight to get the to get the win. But the way the guys were in the locker room, I was I was inspired by their pain. You know I felt more for them than than myself, just in the sense that. Um, I, I think they really do play for Vegas, you know? It's not just a slogan. I mean, they were hurting. They were, they were, you'd have thought it was they just got eliminated from the WAC tournament or something, you know, or the Mountain West tournament, I should say. Um, and it's just, that's good to see. That's inspiring um, because I know that they're invested. Um, and a lot of, the, you know, they said the right things. They said the right things about, you know, don't point fingers and be a family, stay together. Uh, they know they got to get better. Um, I, if I think, I think if I start talking too much about the negative, the negative things that happen in the course of the game, I'll probably my opening statement will be about 20 minutes, and I'm sure you guys will ask anyway. So, why don't we open it up for questions?
Yeah, that was pretty evident, I think, that uh, in the scout report, especially when we gave them specific um, directives. And it was like we went right against the directive. You know, they're going to collapse on the ball. They're great off the ball at their help. They're a phenomenal offensive rebounding team. You know, that we got to hit guys. This is how we do it. This is what we drilled. And, and we just, that's experienced guys to be able to follow a scouting report. And our freshmen were like, you know, they just, and the new guys, the guys that had not played Division One basketball, those were, the, you know, even the, the JC guys. I, I, th I didn't think they played up to their capabilities tonight. They will. Like, you know, I don't know what Chris's finals numbers were, but he was a little bit hobbled there, but he fought through it. He's not a kid that's going to complain at all, but I know he's, he wasn't 100%. He was only three for 12. And, uh, yeah, he didn't have a great night, but he's a, he's a really, really good player, and he just was, had an off night. And he was trying to push through it, but tough kid, really tough kid. So getting those, getting those experienced guys on our side, uh, you know, healthy and, and getting, you know, the other guys back obviously will help us a little bit. But I still think we had enough firepower to win. It just seems like every time we made a run, they hit a three. It was like, seriously, <laughs> my first game? <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. They just, number 10, just like he buried a three every single time we made a run. I got to give him credit, man. That was some, I don't know, I think he's, a, I don't know if he's a junior or senior, but he, he, uh, he played really well for him. I thought he was key at critical times, but shoot, I mean, the big, strong, athletic guys that played, played harder than we did tonight. That's the thing that's disappointing, Mark, is that I know we can play better than we played. And so the signature and the things that we want to do as far as a staple to, to have the, the, the fans optimistic and proud of their team, I didn't think we showed that tonight. So that's disappointing. No, he just is, uh, he, he had got a little, uh, his knee was bothering him a little bit, and so we, we rested him for a day, and then he came back and uh, played a little bit on it. He'll be fine. He just needed a little bit of rest on it, so we'll probably shut him down for the weekend. He should be good to go on Monday. No problem. No, it was bad shot selection. Yeah, it was a horrible shot selection, uh, especially start the game, first half. I think we might have been one for nine or something like that. It was just... Horrendous challenge threes and quick threes without offensive rebounding and position, just me shots, you know. And they're not they're not selfish kids. That's what that was the ironic thing. I think they thinking, I don't know, I think they might be a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know if it was just or let me do it or let me help, you know, just a, an anxious type of energy. Uh, we'll figure it out. We always do. Listen. We're going to be much better going forward. And so if there's any consolation that we, we started at a place where we could only go up, you know, and we didn't, uh, we didn't show what we can, what we can do. But, but I know we'll get better. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that. That's what we do. Mark, what aspect of play are you most frustrated with? Which aspect? Uh, probably just the offensive rebounds when we made it such a priority. I think we gave up 14. And that's, I mean, it's not like they had, you know, they had some strong big guys, but even their guards were getting in there and getting, getting uh, just being more aggressive. I mean, it's like a second offense for them, and that's what we said we were going to do. <laughs> so that's probably the most frustrating thing. It's the one stat that jumps out at me. And then they had, they, they really shared the ball. That was another thing we talked about, making the extra pass because of how they play and they collapse. It's about making that extra pass. And they go 19 assists, you know, to nine turnovers. That's, that's pretty good. And, uh, and we were the other way. You know, we only had 12 assists and 16 turnovers. So less than one to one is not good. One more time. Say that one more time. Um, you got to pick and choose the spots. You know, uh, he is. He is does have that ability to do that. But I think also from that point guard spot, you, you know, the, the time it scored, there's certain shots that you got to get. And then when you get to the free throw line, you got to knock them down. You know, we, I thought we, I didn't think we shot it well from the free throw line. 70% is not horrible, but uh, it's not, uh, you know, where we want to be either. We want to be up around 73, 74 on the season. But, you know, he, he did a good job. I mean, he's, you know, he played a lot of minutes and, I think there were some things that he's, you know, he's transitioning into that point guard spot. And there were several times when he had a guy in front of him and he just kind of stayed on the ball too long, you know. And that's not our offense is to pound it, pound it, pound it. In the first half, we got 
It was like they were trying to make pound cake. I mean, it was like, guys, like, can we move the ball? Let's get it hot, you know? Let's, let's, let's turn it over, and we just stayed on it too long. And that's what you do when you, when you get forced into playing a little bit uncomfortable. That's what you do, and that's what they did. Their defense was good, man. Their defense was physical and got in there. and uh, So they, you know, I think they caused some of our offensive woes. No. I'm going to get you next, don't worry. No, no, don't be sorry. You guys know each other? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. What was that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, we do. Yeah, no question. Yeah, he, he, um, he struggled a little bit tonight. Um, but I know he's a good player. And he's down on himself right now. He was another guy that I told you in the beginning that, that, that I like their responses. You know, if they were too loosey-goosey in there or didn't get the, uh, didn't feel the pain, that wouldn't be good. And he was probably one of the main guys beating himself up because he knows he could have performed better. You know, I mean, he's the one that missed one of, you know, he had a couple of just gimmies. We drew up some pretty good stuff. I thought we had some guys in some pretty good positions when they executed. When they didn't execute is when we struggled. That's, that's, that's when uh, their defense was good. And part of that is because their defense, you know, took us out of our offense. Next question, please. Inferior or interior? <laughs> um, oh, man, you laugh so you don't cry, you know? Jesus Christ. Okay, interior defense. I think they were bigger and stronger, and I thought they played more aggressive on the interior, and I thought that they were worked harder earlier to be in good positions, and I thought they outplayed us. And so that's why they had uh, the significant advantage on the paint. And then there were so many putbacks. I don't know how many second chance points they have. Is this accurate? 16. 16. So of those in post touches, whatever, that 40-something, 16 of the 46 were putbacks, you know, so that's another reason. Yeah, I wonder about that myself when I was walking off the floor. <laughs> uh, I don't know for sure. I'm hoping that we can get him some minutes and then kind of see how he goes, you know, kind of thing as, as early as next week. But I'm, uh, that might be pushing a little bit. might be the following week. And Sheck might still be a couple weeks out. But, you know, it's, they, they meet with the doctors, I think, next week. So they'll have a, I'll have a better, better frame. Mike, nothing from you, man? You're... Oh, okay. Was there a stretch of uh, possession at the end point in the game that looked like the way you wanted the team to look at the end of the game? Not consecutive possessions. No, that wasn't very good. Uh, that was one of the things that really halted any run that we could get. Um, we might have got a stop and a bucket and then maybe one more stop, but nothing. There was no streaks. Is that what you mean? Like as far as playing like we really wanted to play? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Right. Um, I think towards the start of the second half, there was a, there was a, a, a moment in time there where, where we were really, you know, coming off and getting into gaps and, and causing some problems with the deflections and so forth. You know, our goal is 35 deflections. We had 20. So not too much to celebrate about in that defensively. And then offensively, I mean, we shot 36% <laughs> from, the, from the field. So, uh, you know. That's, that's partially credit to them and, and partially, you know, us just taking low percentage shots. We had, had some really tough shots. We made, we made a few, but it's fool's gold. You got to take higher percentage shots. You got to take better shots. So. Well, the throwback was there. We got Christian Jones on several mid-range jumpers. Uh, we were supposed to elevate a couple – sets we drew up where we could elevate a guy, throw back to him. We didn't attack the big the way. We just let their redirection send us to the half court rather than getting into his body. You know, we, we want to go body to body that and get them in foul trouble. I mean, you know, we got one or two guys, but when you, when you know a team's going to hard hedge, you, you go at that big because he's got a slide. But we were avoiding the contact rather than going body to body, which is, 
you know, when you, especially when you're going to your strong hand, you should be able to create some contact. They're not going to call a foul on you unless you hit him in his chest. And we just kept avoiding the contact. And that's mental toughness, man. That's, that's, that's physical toughness, too. That's something that can be fixed with a substitution pattern. So if they don't figure that part out, that's the, those are the things that it's like, okay, wait a minute, guys. You have direction. You have instructions. Follow the instructions. Then if that doesn't work, then it's on me. But if you can't follow the instructions, then it's on you. And, you know, we're, we're a family. We're together. So inevitably, it still falls on me because they didn't follow them. So that's, that's, that's on me. You know, that's, that's, we got to practice that a little bit differently because that's the same thing we'll do in one of our, some of our ball screen is that way. So that's, we teach the offense, but look much better in practice. That's all I can tell you. Uh, well, we only had a brief moment to talk. I really got to see how they practice, you know, how they respond in the physical sense, emotional sense, uh, when I have them all together. Uh, you know, right now they're, they're just hurt, you know. I probably went at them a little bit too hard right in the beginning, but then I caught myself and realized it was the first game of the year. <laughs> so I had to, had to throttle back a little bit. But, uh, you know, I caught myself. It's just... No, it's just disappointing, man. Disappointing. But tomorrow is a new day, and uh, I'm not overly concerned that that we won't be, you know, much much more competitive as the games unfold. Even in the non-conference, I think I think people see a a better product every day, every time we go out. So felt like we took a little step back, and it wasn't just because of the competition. It was also, you know, how we played. That was the disappointing thing. But all right, I'm rambling. What's up? Any other questions, guys? Well, the first thing is the physicality, obviously. You don't have to be uh, big and strong to play big and strong. That's a men mental thing, so it's all about mentality. Uh, so we'll do some things, drill work, and we'll do some engaging uh, things that, that – That'll be mental toughness drills. So that's one thing. Uh, and the second thing is just is getting them to to uh, stay the course. There were several times where we came out and had specific things that we're told to do and just weren't executed well. You know, there was a lot of a lot of that. Uh, they got kind of got to the spots, but then they didn't like our ball screens. And we had two offensive fouls because the because the ball handler didn't wait for the screen to come over and get set. You know what I mean? So he's got to wait. Because if he goes too early, well, then they've got two moving objects, and that's when you get a moving, you know, you get the files. So, anyway, anything else, guys, girls? Okay, guys.